Welcome to my March of the Eagles podcast, everybody. Today in March of the Eagles, we are going to be playing Hearts of Iron. Because please don't ever make me play March of the Eagles. Please. I actually wanted to try this game yesterday, three days ago, at some point. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you have got to actually be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I didn't even get to say the first sentence. Today we are playing Italia in Hearts of Iron. One of my favorite parts of Italy. Uh, one of the parts of Italy where we will first attack Ethiopia. One of the stupidest ways to play Italy, one might say. I shouldn't have made this. I should not have made this strat. <laughs> that thing is gonna be ingrained in my mind, as always. Basic research. We are not going to build in the north, even though we do have very special plans. We are going to build in the middle of Italy. Uh, let's go for two on A, and then the rest on RT. We shall defeat Ethiopia by any means necessary. Fiocchi Munizioni, my favorite Italian man. Officer course, bald attack. Interesting. God, no, no, this was not part of the plan. We're gonna do something very funky. This might not work. God damn, if I don't try it now. We shall also join the anti commenton pact. The doom of ours, or and we have banned communism. Oh God, I completely forgot war economy exists. You play Crusader Kings once for 15 hours and suddenly you completely forget how to, how, to, how to speak. More safe factories than 26. We're already working on this, my friend. Probably shouldn't call you my friend. I mean, we do look the same. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You probably just lost the war. Oh, oh my God, yeah, we're just breaking through here. Oh my God. Success in North and South before we even got Orsa. Then we can also get Gramsci out of the prison again. Big boy is out of prison. Two mils, mils is so good. But I'm first gonna go for Ministry of Italian Affairs just because this makes managing all of this much easier. Might as well get up to extensive conscription. Would have been cool to get wall, power, total mob, total mob now, but this is fine as well. Oh, actually that's super bad that we're on both of these, but that's fine because we have Italian divisions. There's nothing stronger than an Italian division. They almost don't even have to send reinforcements here, honestly. Before I forget it, Belgium should work. And as always with Portugal, just they don't have that many divisions. Just walk around them a little bit and you should have solved the war. Now that we do have Portugal, we shall just take all. There we go. Nothing has changed on the map. Now we actually don't even need to get Tungsten from Malaya anymore. We shall also join Germany. Boom, bumps the war tension power a little bit higher. And then we go over to Newcastle as always. Because we do have Portugal now. You could of course just... We could go to Liverpool. But hey, when in Rome, bank Caligula. Why don't you have a normal infantry division? Okay, perfect. The Libyan divisions. I'm just going to pump out a bunch of these for the borders. We are going to go for a very special kind of war. You could call it... G give me a minute. Blitz. Cut. Fulmine. There we go. You could call it a fulmine. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh no, I fucked up. I screwed Japan over. <laughs> ah, whatever. What's a major players game without a little bit of chaos? Mussolini quests are so stupid, man. <sighs> we actually do have to kind of chuck a few divisions over here. And then let's just chuck 10 here, take half a few, the rest here. That should suffice against the AI. We're of course going to lose our colonies in South Africa as well as Ethiopia. Shift happens. With this, we do have everything set up. We can now declare war on Belgium. We can invade the UK. We actually get a civil war once we have zero. Yeah, I'm just gonna praise a little bit. We do have the PP for it. It is such a stupid mechanic though that Italy has this. You know, like, the thing that I dislike with mechanics like this is why does only Italy have this? I would be very upset if every country had this because it's way too easy to get to zero percent. But it's also just, okay, why does only Italy explode? Why does every other country just accept that you're at war and you lost 50 million men? <coughs> Looking at you, Germany, democratic Germany. Honestly, when it comes to naval invasions, just play it by the book. I've done this so many times, I don't need to do anything differently. As Monty famously said, every plan survives first contact with the enemy. Dun! 
Where is it? You're such pricks, man. You will see when Britain falls that this was a mistake. Although, I mean, eh, apart from invading mainland Italy, this was the smartest thing they did. Yeah, we are. Gameplay will resume shortly. I'm not allowed to bet anymore. Gameplay shall resume. Are you okay? We're taking stuff, but it just doesn't change the war score. Please, Paradox, let it end. Okay, I think it was just a little, little bit of war support that capped them there. I am just going to call in Germany. They will get way too much points for just taking land. Actually, we might get points because we have claims on Belgium now. Oh yeah, that's looking very good. That's green and Belgium should fall. Belgium capped and suddenly everything flipped to Germany. Cool. Even though we just had everything, but that's fine. The only two things that I'm worried about is Germany getting way too much war score from occupation and Germany releasing Vichy France. I suppose that's also something I'm worried about. Paris, take it before the UK uncaps, please. Okay, 3.9k points versus Germany's meager 600 points. And no Vichy France has been formed. I think what happened, Germany formed Vichy France just as the peace deal came out. And the game did not register that Vichy France exists because I could click on the Vichy France provinces, but I couldn't take them. They didn't have points. Let's just see whether this works. And now, once again, for our viewers' favorite segment, we choose right down to madness. Yeah, Vichy France has been formed. Okay, uh, seriously, fuck this game, man. I'm honestly sometimes surprised the game runs at all. Okay, we, we can do two things here. I'm first gonna try the non-cheaty way. I'm not gonna click the Vichy provinces. <laughs> This isn't even a crazy scenario that I'm doing right now, you know? Like, I'm not- I know I'm trying to break the game, but I'm not breaking the game in this instance. I just kept the UK and now we're taking on France. Nothing of this is special. There's two ways we can progress now. I can either go ahead, try this without Germany, you know, take 20 years to get through the channel, do all of this again, chuck the last one and a half hours away, or I can just do the sensible thing. Like if you wanted to do this at home in Iron Man, why would you? There's no achievement related to this, but if you wanted to do this at home with Iron Man, I suggest barricading Portugal. But I am not myself. I will just take all of the Vichy states. This might still not work. This genuinely might still not work. They just form it anyway. Oh, <laughs> I can't even, man. Honestly, I really don't want to do this, but I think that's the only way I can fix this. I have to tag over to Germany. Oh, you have sensible division layouts. Sure, that's still way too many generals, but like, that's fine for the AI. You just, you just left London. <gasps> this is no. <laughs> this is not gonna work. I just wanted a simple game of Hearts of Iron with a little bit of chaos sprinkled in, and the AI is just saying no, 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 fuck you, no, 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 no. I have to do this. This is actually bad for me because we lose out on the French Navy. But this is the only way, apart from restarting, if you want to do this at home. I recommend puppeting Portugal and not calling them into the wall. Then all of these problems are fixed. This is what I had to resort to. Cheating. Cheating in a non-Iron Man game. I know I am the worst of humans. I literally shouldn't even be allowed to breathe right now. I should just dox myself. Should just drive through Alabama and say gay rights are good rights. But this is what I have resorted to. My apology video is coming out next month. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, now that you have very legitimately defeated the allies without any bugs interfering in your gameplay, you do own most of Africa now. You could, of course, also go for the Middle East. But honestly, eh, what am I gonna do with... <laughs> number! Number! I suppose Liberia is pretty okay with the 800k. I think it is time to defy the Duce. We are going to turn all of the divisions that we can into AA divisions. We shall also embrace the People's Revolution. Now this is very threatening because we only have this itsy bitsy tiny piece of land here around Rome. Pretty much the worst position to stand in. We can even go for Totem Mob, the base philosopher for additional PP gain. Actually wait, we do have, we still have the Ethiopia quest. Ooh, 
bad for us. If I can give you a tip, leave the faction with Germany before you do this. Because the AI has strong divisions, you can see the civil war is just very hard right now. There we go. Now we have all of Italy and we are communist. We shall join the Soviets just for a little bit of extra added protection. Bro, I'd love a repair all factories button. It'd be so hype in this game. I suppose we can go for a leader steps forward. But first we can get a bunch of stuff here. Karabski has no buffs. Okay, cool. I did not back my game. <laughs> and now we can go for a very risky focus. We can create a few collab governments at this point. They puppeted Denmark again in Greenland. And keep on clicking this button. You might ask, why am I acting? trying to push these stuff to the socialists even though we are communists. This thing actually has very nice buffs. Minus 90% puppet cost plus 10% starting compliance and another thing that I found out 30%, 60%, 90%, 15%. That makes sense in no world. Nowhere does this make sense. So for the price of one CPU you can potentially call all of Africa. In this case we did get a little bit scammed honestly. I will also switch this guy for the democratic boomer. Yeah, that's a shame. We don't get the democratic. We have to flip through focus tree or technically yeah, civil war. Wait, we lost ban. F <laughs> I suppose, I suppose we can't ban communist parties if we are the leading communist party. Shame. Would have liked to break that even more. I kind of wish there was more interaction with Africa, honestly. Africa was so important for World War II and then in Hearts of Iron, it's just exists. It is a bummer. Just plonk down a few more divisions. We are Gucci, as they say in Italy. Oh, we are also brown now. Okay, w why? Paradox, can you please explain? Add two building slots and two sieve factories in up to two core states. Add two building slots and two mill factories in up to two different core states. I don't think that means four states. Like that, that could just be two states, I think. Maybe they meant four states. Also, just look at this. Eight spies. We can still take spy master. Like, we're not even close to our cap right now. This is eight spies just through existing. We, we're not in any faction. Germany could attack from down here. So I should create garrison divisions. Oh, also, Germany is starting with Barbarossa. Uh, let's just switch our doctrines a little bit. How long do we have time? June. A split off. There we go. They can attack us from Greenland, technically, but the mainland is secure apart from, you know, island hopping to Africa. All right, Germany, what have you got in store? Let's just make a push. I don't care about pushing here. I just want to agitate. And actually, instead of pushing, exercise. That should provoke them as well. There's nobody on the Soviet border. They just repositioned everything to this border. What about the air war? Yes, it is a great war. Honestly though, seeing eight factory slots in Libya really tickles something. Japan could become a problem. They will just get all of Indochina. Sure, I have the manpower, I have the equipment. I might not like it, but I'm going to do it. Actually, we need to defend this, definitely. There's way too many resources there. Soviets are still... Well... They are eating rocks, but not as bad as usually. They're just casually eating rocks. Oh no, Yugoslavia joined the common turn. Uh, this might screw us over. Germany, it's been fun. It's been real. It's certainly not been real fun with you not doing anything. You were supposed to grind up against me. It's time to bring out the Kaz. They also now have a direct attack vector on Italy. I usually don't give a shit about this, but I will actually split up the navy because if I hear the navy sound in Italy in this game, I might just rage quit. We are also burning for our oil, literally. One thing I can do, there we go, no allied supply. No allied supply, no allied supply. Goodbye, stinky Soviets. But the Soviets, the Germans, are much more willing to attack. Except for this one guy that likes to starve. Used to the Soviet economy, I suppose. Let's go, an army offense guy. Right, another push. That's another green. And then, of course, the Siegfried line. But could be worse. I could be German. Or worse, Swabian. I could, of course, also micro. Or at least tell these guys not to be in the attack order, but... Ooh, actually, we are losing anti-air. Let us fix this right this instant, then. Where are you going? Where's the railway gun going? You're not on that front line. We will take the Bismarck and the Kneisenau, of course. Two of my favorite boats. Ooh. 
600 coastal volts with this one focus. Two times two is hard, okay? The Japanese problem is getting solved, it looks like. Oh, I can build more in Africa. I should actually build roads in Africa. Make up for this whole colonial little thing, you know? Oh, this feels like I'm playing Victoria 3 again. <laughs> Victoria 2? What the fuck? Just summoned a demon. The Italian horde has arrived. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna forget about Alaska this time. Character development. The things I do for this show. I mean, I already stopped using garrison divisions. I want Sakalin. And I'm out. American Japan. Oh no, I think I'll have to cap Japan now. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. I should have at least taken Hokkaido. Well, I suppose we might have to invade Japan then. Yay. Damn it! I wanted to become Spy Master just to see. Just so we could see how many spies we would get. But I suppose we will have to make do with eight spies. Goodbye, Stalin. It was. Okay, knowing you. Hello, America. 7,000, actually. Uh. 9,000 planes? Look at that, we're at 13%. It's actually interesting. I forgot I was playing against America. Phew, that's costly pushing though. What happened with this front line? Why are you split? Why, do, why is there nobody here? Okay, I'm actually kind of baffled by how bad the AI manages this front line right now. I thought about making a save and then I was like, no, it's America. I don't need a save against America. I do have enough force, but it looks like force is not enough here. Did you really... Hey, if it helps like my game out, then the AI is gonna do it. Oh, America! I just hate that the American AI is doing the same thing that the player would do. Oh my god, you're actually being that cringe. Have fun with this, America. All of these divisions are encircled, because without supply they can't move, and then these guys are just gonna walk. I don't give a shit, we are just gonna push through here. East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. Uh, pfft. No, I'd rather not. Thank you for the offer, though. Oh, naval invasion. Ha, I'm prepared, you dum dum. I always use garrison divisions. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. And then I'll also spec into construction engineering, which is very weird that it's here. I do prefer it. You know, it's a bit more convenient to have it here, but it's uncanny a little bit, you know? It's supposed to be here, not here. Though, again, I, I do prefer this. Why does Yugoslavia look like a ball sack? There we go, he even got a sensor. Honestly, if the US invades Africa, I will just end the video. It's actually a cue for you, America, you know? Oh god, 8,000 planes. Oh, that feels good. That is Italian engineering if I've ever seen it. Should probably see... <laughs> Yeah, about those 8,000 planes that you've had. Okay, let's see. Push. With proper air support, we should be able to do this. Also, since we're back in the common turn, an additional spy. Wow. Would you look at those numbers? An entire spy that we just got. China, China, Chinese, United... No China policy? He just made no China policy left and... Oh my god. He went for no China policy, left, saw that he was at war with Sion, and immediately rejoined the United Front. Oh, the Soviets are actually doing something. And I don't have boats up. That's Those are eight crappy Russian submarines that are actually pulling the weight here. Turkey is also... Whew, people are pulling their weight here. Regarding pulling the weight, let's pull the American weight. Do you still want to have planes? Oh, he still wants to have planes. I'm gonna make you bleed. I'm gonna make you bleed and rue the day that you came into office and replaced the guy that couldn't walk. The additional starting compliance is so nice. I think it's safe to say that America is out of this war. Oh god, five million pockets. Way we did it. And we don't have to... We have to take out Japan and Tibet. But China is not... Hey, YouTube, can you see China in this peace deal? Because I cannot. Why do I get Tibet? I'm not at war with Tibet. And now Japan joined China. Why would China invite Japan? It never ends, 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 it never ends. I just... It... How... I guess it is time to invade Japan again. I feel like every single time that I make a rule and I break the rules, I'm just punished for it. Up to this point, I've made a rule that I always take stuff from Japan just in case I have to return. I pretty much never had to use this. Now this one time that I would benefit from it, I decided against doing so. We probably have to take out Japan. 
for that channel as well. Start working on another field marshal then. I suppose China got upset that I just annexed Tibet, even though I had no reason to. Like, that's fair at least. Go home, Japan. Go home, I have a surprise for you. 127 to be more precise. Oh, we're actually losing manpower. Though a bunch of that is just garrison divisions. Yeah. Yeah, 2 million garrison manpower from the Soviets. Thank you, Stalin. Popping the government for China is a play right now. Especially because, yeah, Soviets do have points, so... Got a government on China, congratulations. Uh, we might lose it now. Wang Dong! Oh, the leader of communist China. How the... Oh my god, you made it. I think the pinning just saved us. Oh, we landed. Should mean a bunch of divisions should technically come up here. Or they just push through here. Because the AI is too confused. Okay, great. Uh, now we only need to take out China. I've said that sentence way too many times. Also, you have interesting Italian China pox. Curl up government on the US. Ooh. Additional compliance gain is just... I mean, it's 0.05. It is left Kamenev levels. We're just missing Kamenev advisor. Just a quick game of Hearts of Iron 4 today, huh? I wanted to quickly kill off the Americans. Then they got Japan. And Japan joined China. Now it's 1951. We have 2.1 thousand factories. 8 million manpower. And now... What, what do you still own? Oh, of course. The Soviets actually have more points than us. I will just make sure that Japan will never ever exist again. You can take the rest of Japan, but I will take the mainland. The home islands. Oh, they actually puppeted China. I thought they would give it to Italian China. But I guess they don't really care about me, do they? No, I wanted to check out the map. Ah, nice healthy 1951. Oh, fuck. Three hours ago, I could have just said, yeah, that's it. The game was fun. They don't need to continue for anything. <laughs> <laughs> they gave China to Italian China and the rest they annexed. Except for People's Menjiang and Sinkia. They really just tossed a coin. That's the stupidest way to play Italy. You early war allies, get Portugal before that. Then from there you can start a civil war for all of Africa. Of course, don't use any cheats because cheats are for cringers. And um, definitely not people who are based, like me. And from there on you can just world conquest. I shouldn't play House of Iron anymore. 